Hey guys, Luke back with another video. This one's going to be all about secrets and things that you might have missed during your playthrough of the game, and especially if you did a blind playthrough. You may have occasionally noticed during your playthrough that it will be raining golden leaves from the sky at nighttime, and this is actually a rare weather event that happens only at night, and it gives you the same effect of a gold pickled foul foot and increases your rune gain from enemies that you kill. And you can actually see the buff it gives you right up here at the top left under your health bar. This next secret I'm going to show you guys is actually these wandering nobles right here. Some of these guys are actually not weak enemies that you can kill in two hits, but they're actually some pretty strong enemies in disguise. There are multiple enemies just like that one, and they're not always a rune bear. These monsters are almost always worth killing because they usually have some really nice rewards. In your playthrough, you likely came across paintings just like these right here, and then looted it, and then completely forgot about it, and never ended up getting items from it. But there's actually some really cool items you can get, like this great hood right here is my personal favorite. Next up, we're going to head up to the Artist Shack in Liernia of the Lakes and check out a painting that's going to give us a larval tier. All you need to do is come here to the Artist Shack in Liernia and interact with this painting here called Resurrection. And then we're going to head up to the Caria Manor and deliver it to a spirit. And now that you've interacted with the Resurrection painting, all you need to do is head up to this location right here and carry a manor and interact with a spirit right in this exact spot. And this spirit was nice enough to give us a larval tier, and we can use that to re-choose our character's attributes. Gestures actually have a use outside of striking a cool pose like this here, and you can actually use them to get some items out in the world, and I'll go ahead and show you one. All you'll need to do is bring the Gesture Erudition along with a Glintstone Crown to this location here, and we can use those two in combination to unlock a secret door. If we continue up the tower, we'll find a bunch of glintstone sorcerers that got turned into a disgusting monstrosity, along with some pretty nice spells at the top of the tower. If you see any of these ghostly candlesticks out in the world, make sure you check them out, interact with them, and then follow the spirit because they usually lead you to some enemy camps, merchants, or some other sort of hidden gem. And after that really long walk, that ghost led us to a pretty interesting camp that has an NPC that also has a gesture interaction. And to do that one, all you need to do is head to the Church of Ella and talk to the merchant there. The 
next secret I'm about to show you is located in the sealed tunnel, and this tunnel is located in the Altus Plateau. When playing any From Software game, make sure that you hit every wall you see, because you'll never know what secrets that you might uncover. There are many illusionary walls throughout the game, and some of them house some pretty nice secrets, being items, or this entire area like this here. And they actually can stack illusionary walls, so the wall that I'm about to come to is also an illusionary wall. And then there's two more illusionary walls after that one. But I'll go ahead and leave you to discover those ones. Did you know that spirit summons actually have interactions out in the world other than just being your personal fighting companion? Latina the Albaneric can actually mount any direwolf enemy throughout the game, and there are some up here in the upper level of Caria Manor, and when she mounts the direwolf she actually continues to fight them, and the direwolf also fights Latena, so it's actually kind of funny. Another spirit summon interaction is with everybody's favorite jellyfish up here in the Stargazer Ruins in the mountaintops of the Giants. When you come here, you will hear this jellyfish talking about its sister, and if you summon your spirit jellyfish right next to it, they will have a little reunion, and then you unlock a gesture. This one's not really a secret, but I figured I'd throw it in anyway. So if you see any of these guys out in the world with gold glowing eyes, that means they're a special upgraded version of that enemy that drops five times the normal amount of runes, but also they're a little stronger, so be careful. And that brings us to the end of my secrets video. Uh, I know I don't normally make videos like this, I usually just do strictly guide content, but I figured I'd try to do something new, and maybe you guys might enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, leave it a like, and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, because I'll be doing Elden Ring content, and whatever future cool games might come out, I'll also be covering those games as well. And yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, I hit 10,000 subscribers, and I wanted to thank you all for helping me and helping me grow the channel. And I appreciate every view, like, sub, comment. Every time I see the subscriber button go up, I get a nice hit of dopamine. So thanks again for all the support, and I'll see you in the next one.